Let's write a C program to find NCR factorial for given numbers of n and r. So let's see the formula to calculate NCR factorial. NCR is equal to n factorial division r factorial into n minus r factorial. So this is the formula. So let's also look at its definition. The number of different unordered combination of r objects from a set of n objects. Okay. I know it's not clear so let me explain with an example so let's assume that there are three people namely a b and c in a park okay this a b c is n that is three but there is only two seats available for them so r is two then possible ways of people can sit over the seat using combination is a b a c and b c since ncr is unordered we consider b a and a b as same so we don't include it those will be duplicate duplicates so a b c is n value 2 that is the combination 2 we have two people here a b a c and b c that's the value of r so this entire set is the result that is we have three objects inside this set so 3 c 2 that is 3 is n value r value is 2 so the result ncr will be 3 so let's calculate that using the formula so 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 2 factorial is 2 3 minus 1 is 1 factorial so 3 into 2 is 6 so now 6 division 2 is 3 so 3 c 2 that is factorial of n and r that is 3 and 2 is 3 so also an important note here n should always be greater than r because we can fetch 2 out of 3 but we can't get 3 out of 2 right so n should always be greater than r so this is very important so hope you understood something in, in this uh, these details are not required for you if you know the formula that's enough for now for computer science students going forward you need to understand why you are writing this code why you are using these formulas that's very important okay so for now let's write the c program i'll take three integer variables n r and n c r i'll ask the user to enter a positive value for n and r so let me store that inside the address of integer variables n and r So I'll write the formula here ncr is equal to n factorial division r factorial into n minus r factorial. So this is what we saw it in our previous screen, right? So we need to write this using C programs arithmetic operation rules. So let's do that ncr is equal to I'll write a function called factorial so factorial of n this would return factorial of n division let me copy this division r factorial multiplied with factorial of n minus r so that's the formula n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial so let me remove this let me write printf statement here printf ncr factorial of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d so the first percentage d um, is that of n variable n the second percentage d is that of r and the last percentage d is that of ncr the variable ncr so we need to define factorial function now all these take only single parameter single argument also note that we have division operator in this uh, formula right so you may get floating point values in this case you will be getting integer value but whenever uh, you there is formula and involvement of division it's always better to have floating point variables just make sure to have floating point variables for accuracy in this case it may not hold good but 
practice this it's best practice to declare it as floating point values so i'll write 0.2 f but factorial returns integer value not float okay don't get confused here factorial returns integer values okay division of which might result in floating point result so i am taking ncr as floating point value factorial still returns integer type value okay so we are using format specifier percentage f okay so i'll take a integer variable fact and assign one to it i'll take another variable count for loop counter variable for i'll initialize count to one and iterate through this for loop until count is less than or equal to user enter number and for each iteration of this for loop i'll increment the value of count by one so here i'll write fact i'll tell you why i have assigned it to one so before that let me write the logic fact is equal to previous value of fact into the value of count uh, let me even return the value of fact outside this for loop return the value of fact so if fact value is actually zero we have multiplication here so zero into anything will always be zero so fact will ultimately be zero which will be wrong so one into any number will be that number itself it don't affect the multiplication so it starts from zero sorry it starts from one so complete logic for finding factorial is present in the link present in the description section of this youtube video and also i'm showing it on your computer screen please visit it to get the complete logic i'll enter 3 for n and 2 for r so ncr factor of 3 and 2 is 3 we saw that in our example so let us do the same thing using recursion i have explained the recursion logic to find factorial uh, in a separate video link to which i am showing you on your computer screen please follow that and watch that video so if num is non-zero then num into factorial of this is recursive call factorial of num minus one okay let me write base condition in else part so if num is zero then zero factorial is one so let us return one so that's it this should work too so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video to know the complete logic about the working of this factorial function we have a separate video for that so uh, ncr factorial is three again so six and two the ncr factorial is 15. so now let me write this in single line of code using ternary operator return so I have explained even that the complete logic so link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video again so when this number is not equal to zero then return this execute this line of code else if num is zero zero factorial is one so return one that's it single line of code using ternary operator or conditional operator and recursive function such a compact logic right so i'll give same numbers once again three and two ncr will be three for six and two ncr will be 15 so it's working properly so let me write function prototype and finish off this example okay this is function definition let me cut this off from here and paste it after main method that's it let me save this compile and run it once again and give the same number that is 6 and 2 the factorial ncr factorial is 15 so this program is working properly so please go and visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video we have three separate videos to explain this factorial concept using a function without using function with using 
recursive function and also how to write the same using ternary operator we have explained it not just writing it we have explained the logic there so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends using whatsapp whatsapp telegram wechat linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you